our museum, which is in Woonsocket, Rhode Island. Yeah. Uh, we have approximately 50 years worth of television broadcasting technology. Uh, some of the oldest stuff is even a little older because we have some radio things that maybe go back into the 30s. But mostly we're the late 1940s up to almost the year 2000. So that goes through a lot of stuff. And our goal is to have a representative sample of every phase of the development of the technology. So we have videotape recorders. Videotape started in 1956. We have actually, well, one of the original models of videotape recorder, the Ampex VR1000. And we actually have the whole progression of Ampex and RCA models of two-inch videotape, transitioning to one-inch, transitioning to cassettes, we have That's amazing. old audio recording equipment, yeah, including yeah, a machine that would cut phonograph records. We have a couple of those. Uh, we're building a little radio studio. On our second floor, we have cameras, and our cameras start from no, I be surprised. Now, around 1950. Um, we have bits and pieces of older things, but full cameras start around 1950. Some of this stuff we actually have functioning. Not all of it. People have asked about that, and I've said, you know, in their day, it would have taken a staff of 50 people to keep this stuff going. So we don't have that. There's yeah. a half a dozen of us. Yeah. No, um, well, it's amazing what you guys are doing, though, you know? We have, well, you know, no one else is really doing this. Some people have bits and pieces of stuff. We're trying to have pretty much a whole chronology of that 50 years of the technological development. And the stuff is big. That's why yeah. people don't say that. Yeah. You know, the original videotape machine weighed just a little under a ton. Whoa. So, you don't put that in your closet. No, or in your car to go home with it from Best Buy, that's for sure. No, no. I mean, you know, we feel sorry about how big our stuff is, but there's there are people who collect, collect railroad locomotives, so then we don't feel so bad. Yeah, do you guys have a website everybody can check out? We do. We are WMBT.org or WMBT.TV. Uh, our website is not up to date, but it's pretty good. Nice. And we link to a bunch of other websites because there are private camera collectors around the country. Uh, a couple of really good ones. Uh, some virtual websites, some 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 virtual museums, and some physical museums. Uh, so uh, the links on our site are really very good. Sweet. All right. Thank you, Tom. I do appreciate your time. We're the Tom Sprague here from uh, the Museum of Broadcasting Technology out of New York, correct? We are out of Woonsocket, Rhode Island. Woonsocket, Rhode Island. Yes, okay, so great. we're about 150 miles north of New York City. Great, great. Well, I appreciate yep. your time, sir, and this is uh, KJ7BOU with AmateurRadioClub.net. I hope you guys enjoyed this interview. Thank you.